Welcome back and happy Friday. The state treasurer's office supports schools as they educate students on budgeting and life after high school. Absolutely. They are taking a hands-on approach in teaching life skills. Justin Nam reports. Get a life. At least that's what the students here at Webster County High School are doing after going through a post-high school simulation. These juniors and seniors are able to think a little bit more about their futures and what the adult life has to offer after participating in this event. The Get a Life simulation has students live potential future lives. They are handed a card that lists their income, number of family members, and occupation. From there, it's up to them to buy what they need to live. We are encouraging them to be aware of finances and, and plan a budget so they don't get into dilemmas like credit card debt. This program was put together in partnership with Gear Up. Jonas Knotts is the Gear Up coordinator at Webster County High and believes Get a Life will help students become their own problem solvers. This is an experience that we're hoping will give them a taste of what they're going to face when they get out there and hopefully to give them an idea of some of the challenges and also how to overcome some of those challenges. Not says Gear Up has helped change the student belief in Webster County. We've also worked to create a college going culture here in our building of where college isn't just something that only a few might be able to do. Now it's something that everybody can do and the students and the parents know that they can do it. Some students took away a better understanding of their next stage in life after this program. Well, I'm definitely going to college, and I'm definitely going to um, further my education so I can get a good job to support my family. I think this really puts it in perspective of what life is going to be like when we're on our own and we don't have our parents to support us. Now it's safe to say this simulation has students thinking at least a little bit more about their futures. The state treasurer's office is looking to hold this event in as many schools as possible and urges schools to contact them if they are interested. Reporting from Webster County, I'm Justin Nam for 12 News. And we'll be back with Bob Fulton in line next. He has the weekend forecast. That's right. This is 12 News at 6.